Behind me is Coco Tams. It's one of the best and most popular restaurants in the whole of Koh Samui. It's right on Banrak Beach. It has prime location with a hub of activity of jet skis, fishing boats, and just incredible sunsets. Although not tonight, it's a little bit, it's a little bit meh today. And I'm, I'm halfway through a six kilometer run, okay? And um, I just popped around and I booked a table because I want to take us for dinner tonight. Me and you and the missus, but she'll be behind the camera. We're going to go for some, it's like a Thai Italian fusion me menu basically. They have an amazing pizza oven and a bunch of really good dishes. We've eaten here once before. They do a nightly fire show if it's not raining, which I'll film if it's not raining. And this place is just beautiful and the staff are really good. And I just saw the, the bartenders behind me practicing. Um, bartending skills and I used to do that check it out back in the university days I used to work in a cocktail bar look how bad I am I used to be quite good oh! <laughs> still got it <laughs> but anyway uh, I've got to finish my run and then I'm gonna go have a shower pick up the missus we'll be back just after dark and I'll take you out for dinner and hopefully show you a fire show. It looks like it might not rain. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Anyway, strap in and enjoy a fun night at Coco Tams. My name is Paddy Doyle and that behind me is the little beautiful Dreamy. I recently quit my job as a teacher to travel all of the 77 provinces of Thailand. We were having the time of our lives. We spent three months in the south visiting 18 of the incredibly beautiful provinces down there. <laughs> However, COVID came back. And so for safety reasons, I came back to Koh Samui to see out the worst of it and to highlight more of this incredibly beautiful island. So welcome to Samui SideQuest, where we're going to be highlighting all of the local businesses on the island and all of the best experiences this place has to offer. It's unbelievable. It really is a fantastic little temple. Incredible place. So subscribe and join us on today's Samui SideQuests. Let's go. And uh, it's busy, isn't it? Very busy. Very busy. Well, it's not packed, but it's pretty decently. I'd say it's about half full. And uh, they're knocking out pizzas from the pizza oven. And we've ordered some non-alcoholic cocktails. I actually haven't tried this. Look at this. <laughs> smells good. Tastes amazing. I think it's got apple juice, bubble gum, and pineapple, and something else. The, 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 the cocktail menu is really extensive, and they have a whole page of mocktails. Obviously, I'm not drinking at the moment, and Miss P doesn't drink either, so can I grab your drink? Can we show them what you got? What did you order again? This is, do you know what's in this? Um, passion fruit, pineapple. And passion fruit and pineapple and dragon fruit. Yeah, you can see the dragon fruit bits yeah. running through. Actually, look, you've got little dragon fruit <laughs> like garnish. <laughs> Can I try it? Yeah, sure. Oh, yours is better. I it's always get it. It's more know. sour. <laughs> anyway, um, we've looked at the menu. We've ordered four dishes. We've ordered a salad, a pasta, some fish, and, and a, a soup. A spicy soup. A spicy yeah. soup. Um, I said in the intro that it's like Thai-Italian fusion or fusion food, but 
upon inspection and coming back, it, we realized it's basically just Italian food. Pizzas, pastas, and lots of classics. Um, there might be a few obvious, obvious sprinkles of Thai-ness in there, especially the seafood. is obviously going to be coming straight from Koh Samui and local areas. So, you know, Thai ingredients, but it's basically Italian. And you were saying that this is one of the most famous restaurants on Samiri, right? I would say, yeah. Yeah, so she's Thai, she knows about Co Coco Tams before she came to Samiri. So it is, a, it is a place that is known and very popular and highly rated. And uh, it's a little bit expensive, to be honest. So we'll let you know how much everything costs at the end. Uh, four dishes, two soft drinks, well, two cocktails, and uh, a couple of bottles of water. And then we'll probably have dessert if we can figure Always it out. Dessert. They've already started the fire show. I think they're just warming up behind us. Um, so that starts very soon. It normally lasts about half an hour, 45 minutes, the fire show. So hopefully by the time we finish eating, we won't miss the fire show. Now, can you listen? The one thing that we didn't like about coming here last time, the food's great. Last time we came here we had different food and we, I think it was your first night on the island and Flora and Note told me, take her to Coco Tams, take her to Coco Tams because this place is really famous. And we had a really good night here, but the one thing that annoyed me, it didn't seem to annoy you that much, is the music, right? Listen to it. And it's really loud, so I, I might not be able to talk too much when I'm eating because it's going to be copyrighted. I'm trying to talk over the music right now, see? Now the music stopped, I can talk a little bit. Um, so the music's a bit loud and the music's a bit naff. Um, but the decorations, the decor, it's really nice. Obviously it's right on the beach and it feels like we're on holiday when we come here. It feels like we've gone somewhere and that we're not in a world of COVID and misery and that actually um, we're on holiday having a nice little din-dins. Anyway. I'll let you know next when the food comes and we'll show you what we ordered. I do like this song now. Every step you take like Never move <laughs> No, let's hear this version. See? Yeah. Patty, don't sing. <sighs> Every step you take How much you She's so I think this version is better, not Patty version. <laughs> complete disaster in terms of filming wise because they're playing really loud music and it's stressing me out because we can't you can't film basically there's no light and my camera is no good in darkness like look look how rubbish the footage looks um, and then the food didn't come out for a long time we had to wait a while and then the fire show just finished when we got our food so like my plan of the video was like oh yeah we'll review the dishes and then we'll go watch the fire show for dessert and now the fire show's finished and we've just got our food. That red light should be on. So just get a shot of me eating the food. Oh. So here's a montage of how it tastes. <laughs> so yes, trying to film a food vlog whilst on a date in a dark, noisy restaurant was proving to be quite difficult and basically impossible. But you know, there's always a will, there's a way, right? That's what they say. And you know, the atmosphere at Coco Tams is amazing. And just seeing the other tourists enjoying the fire shows and the whole atmosphere at the beach, it really felt like it was a real holiday and just a really good atmosphere. So anyway, on with the food. So the first thing we had was the sea bass fillet over a bed of gnocchi and vegetables with a cream sauce and pesto dressing. And it was actually really, really nice. All of the food was really nice. I don't know why I said actually. Yeah, it tasted as good as it looked and we tucked into it straight away. It was the dish that was the most appealing when it, when it arrived. You know, it just looked very well presented. I've never had grilled fish on gnocchi before, but uh, it kind of worked to be honest. Anyway, it didn't last very long and we smashed the plate in under five minutes. 
Then we move on to the roasted beetroot salad with cheese and walnuts and caramelized onions. It's basically a light salad and the cheese was good and the walnuts were delicious and the roasted beetroot was very thick and sour, which is how I like it. And again, yeah, it was fresh, it was lovely and it was kind of supposed to be just like a side dish to be honest. And uh, it's the, it was the one dish we didn't finish. Then we move on to the spicy seafood soup. This was kind of like a bit like gazpacho, the Spanish spicy soup. You can get lots and lots of seafood. They were not stingy at all. It was packed with mussels, prawns, chopped fish, squid, calamari, the, the rings and the tentacles, even some clams in there, I think. It was jam packed it was a little bit too rich for me though i had about three or four mouthfuls and uh, i said to miss p look i don't think i can eat any more of this it was just too rich but she absolutely demolished the whole bowl with the toasted bread so it was a success and as you can see yes lots of delicious olives not olives what do you call them oysters <laughs> Sometimes I get my words mixed up, I apologize. Anyway, then we move on to the spaghetti with the crab. Now this was fantastic. And as you can see, my amazing food turning skills here. <laughs> we were really having some fun filming tonight because you know, things weren't going as planned. We couldn't, you know, basically describe to you how it was tasting. The music was so loud and we were just having fun. But this dish was delicious the seafood flavor of the spaghetti was really strong and the crab meat was really thick there was tons of crab meat in there especially underneath and you know they decorate it with this crab shell which didn't have any meat in it but it looked nice and again with the rocket and the slight zestiness with the lime squeeze on top it was a great little dish It does sound like Mario. Thank you. Why do they play it so loud? It's like a restaurant and a bar, so maybe that's the reason. I can't hear a word you're saying. And then it was dessert. It was time for dessert, our favorite part of the meal. They've got four or five really good looking desserts. Today we went for the panna cotta with passion fruit. It does have a little strawberry on the top and a really delicious biscotti biscuit. And uh, oh my God, this was to die for. I absolutely love passion fruit desserts. I love the sourness of it. And when you have it with really cold, creamy, thick Italian panna cotta, it is just incredible, delicious. I did not want to share this at all. <laughs> Because I actually hogged that dessert and it was just too good to share, um, she basically, Miss P got like one spoon out of it because I was just like, no, babe, this is the nicest thing ever. Please do not let me share this with you. She said, well, let me order my own. So she went for the flourless chocolate cake with ice cream and uh, it was, well, it was delicious. In fact, here is a sped up time lapse of Miss P smashing the chocolate cake without breathing, basically. <laughs> in one sitting and um so we had a dessert each she absolutely loved this i absolutely loved mine and you know sometimes you're in the mood for chocolate sometimes you're in the mood for something else and so yeah two amazing desserts and look we had a really great time um at coco tams it is a really cool little place the atmosphere pretty much every single time we've been there has been booming they do play the music a little bit too loud in my opinion it doesn't feel like a restaurant it feels like a little bit like a nightclub but with the fire show that's completely free and the cool atmosphere and decor and next door they have the pool table and like cocktail lounge and you can sit on the swings chairs and order margaritas or lie in the hammock and have a mojito or whatever it's a real cool holiday beach atmosphere and just all around a great little restaurant anyway let's get on with the final part of the video which is what was the price how much did this all cost let's see what happens it's that time of the night now where we're gonna guess the bill so we had four dishes two mocktails two waters and two desserts because of you <laughs> Um, I remember last time we came here we had 
a little bit less than this and it was expensive so I'm gonna say this is 2,500 baht about 50 US dollars give or take no that's like 75 US dollars right what are you gonna say I'm gonna say like around 3,000 ish I hope not like I'm guessing okay <laughs> 2,800. I mean, at least. So, that includes tax, that includes VAT. No tip involved yet. 2,800, so I was close. I Who won? I said 2,000 what? Five. Did I say 2,500? That means you win. Anyway, there you go. 2,800 baht. You win That's expensive. We don't eat like this every night. We normally have 7-Eleven or Thai takeaway. But we've got loads of restaurants on Costa Mui that we want to take you to. Um, and we want to go to ones we've been to before. And we've said, oh my God, we really should share this place. And then um, there's, there's ones that we haven't been to yet that we're going to take you soon. So we'll experience it together for the first time. Anyway, thanks for watching. And that was Coco Tams. Bye.